Water town officials surprised to learn there are 22 privately owned streets in the city. We asked the question after reporting on problems over on Cayuga Avenue where residents felt they weren't getting the services that they should as they pay their city taxes. 7 News reporter Sandy Torres has more on what Watertown is doing next regarding these privately owned roads and the hurdles ahead. Cedar, Riggs and Camp Avenue are just a few of 22 private streets in the city of Watertown. The city manager says this came as a surprise. I said, well, just give me a list. I thought, well, maybe it'd be four or five streets. I had no idea it was going to be, you know, four, four times that. So uh, it's, it's, a, it's an eye opener for sure. Wagoner says for the roughly 70 residents who live along these 22 roads, the city needs some sort of policy or agreement that will make clear what city services they should be getting. A planning document that we can all agree to and sign off on saying, okay, here's, here's the rules of the road, so to speak, the rules of the street, and to say, here's what your responsibilities are as a citizen or a homeowner, and here's what our responsibilities are as a city. He says this is also a public safety matter. Sometimes DPW may not come through on some of these streets. The city manager says in case of an emergency, officials should be able to get through. The street that I'm standing on right now, Rainsford Street. The city manager says this is the only street on the list that isn't getting all the city services. For instance, it's been a while since the city has plowed the street, but the city manager says that's subject to change. Meanwhile, Mayor Sarah Pierce says before any policy is made, really tracking down who owns these private properties is key. You don't want somebody living on a street who doesn't have access to services that they should have as a taxpayer, but again, that goes back to determining exactly who owns the property. All 22 streets make up about 2.2 miles when added together, and those at City Hall say this will be a priority. Sandy Torres, 7 News.